I grew up in South Wales. After leaving school, I didn't really know what to do and explored a number of different options and I decided I'd go into the Royal Navy. Being at sea, I think, is something which is a life-changing experience. Just looking up at the sky when you are hundreds of miles from land and there is no light pollution and just engaging with the stars is something which is just phenomenal. Being at sea is a ship plows through the oceans and there's you know, bright phosphorescence being cast away as the, the ship plows through the waters. Just puts you into contact with those elemental things I really don't think there are any atheists in the Royal Navy. I think if you've been in a, you know, in a hurricane or a terrible storm or in an enormous swell, you're miles from anywhere. I think prayer comes naturally and you engage with all of those mighty things which are so much greater than anything that Earth can create or, or put in your way. Going into the Navy was one of a number of options. Becoming a priest was another of those options. And during my time in the Navy, I just sensed this overwhelming feeling of being called into the priesthood. And I offered myself for training. They said yes. I am the rector of St Marylebone, and I came to Marylebone nearly 11 years ago. So this is the, uh, the crypt hall. This used to be full of dead bodies until 1983, 84. Space here is what's called the St. Marlborough HCC. It's a center for psychotherapy and for counseling and spiritual direction. This was the, what all these rooms looked like uh, until the mid 1980s. Uh, this is my predecessor, Christopher Hamill Cook. I think it was all part of vision when he became rector to do something with an enormous space and then into the space where the dead had been, uh, they would bring the living who needed some help. I think the thing about Marylebone is it is the most diverse community possibly anywhere on the planet. So we have everything between the, the palaces of Regent's Park and some very small inadequate accommodation in other parts of, of this parish. This building was built between 1813 and 1817 and is the fourth parish church. The first one is in the basement of Debenhams on Oxford Street. Uh, St Marlon Parish Church, of course, gave its name to this part of London. So until 1400, it was simply Tyburn and Lilliston. Community has always been very important. I think building and shaping, sustaining community is something which is hard work and I think people think community just happens, and it really doesn't. So there has to be a huge investment of both money, but also, more importantly, of people wanting community to work. I'd always done lots of things that were community-shaped and focused, and therefore doing something that was a, an act of service in terms of career uh, was something that, that was always going to be the case. Click the videos to watch more Londoners and don't forget to subscribe.